Hey guys, today is all about my favorite fall and winter lippies, so uh, stay tuned. As we proceed to give you what you need. I like to start all of my lipstick applications with a light lip balm. This is one that I made. You can check the description box for a link to the DIY video. And then I simply blot it off and I get started. Nothing like a red in the mist of winter. Of course, Ruby Roo had to make a debut on my favorites list. You can't go wrong with a super, super retro matte. Next is NYX Monte Carlo. It's a soft matte lip cream. Something that you'll notice really quick is that I use brands in all price range. Next is one of my absolute all time favorites. It's Chanel Lover. How appropriate, right? The perfect red totally puts you in the mood. Well, it's a satin finish and I love that it has a nice soft sheen to it. Ah, yes, wines. These are perfect for my skin complexion. My first one that I'm gonna show you is Chanel Vamp. Beautiful. Another soft satin finish. Look at that shine. It's not over the top, it's just very luscious. Next, as you can see, I wear this all the time, is Wet n Wild Ferguson Crest. It's a little bit brighter than the rest of my wines. And of course, NYX does it again with this beautiful Copenhagen. Look at that, you guys. It's such a soft matte finish, I love that. All right, guys, 2014 is all about the dark lippies. So uh, let's get started. This Max Smoked Purple is to die for. Look at it, it's such an incredible undertone. It's like mauve and purple and it's just so pretty. The NYX Transylvania, another one of the soft matte finishes. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. All right, and we're gonna finish with Chanel Manic. Look how gorgeous that is, you guys. It has a nice satin finish, so it gives a little bit of a shine. It's a little bit different from all the mattes that you're seeing right now. Next, I want to share with you my favorite lip stains. All right, we're going to start off with Chanel Almadine. This is absolutely the bomb. Like, it's one of my absolute favorites. You guys, I literally did like three drops into the container, and look at the coverage. Yes, and when I tell you I had to use eye makeup remover to get this stuff off my lips, it's no joke. It's such a great investment. Now, the trick with the lip stain is that you really want to make sure that it's applied evenly. And you want to let it dry completely before applying the gloss. As you can see, it now has a matte finish. But I'm about to apply this super shine on it. And when I say this stuff lasts forever, it lasts forever. I mean, I've worn this for like 16 hours and I've never had to reapply the shine. That's through eating and everything else. But can the church say amen? All right, now, I can't say it's a lip stain unless I give you guys the white tissue test. And there you have it. Nothing came off and you see the shine is still there? Uh, yeah, this stuff is no joke. Up next, we have Sephora in 07. This cream lip stain is incredible. You notice that there's only one application tool in this stain because it's all in one. It has like a soft, it's a matte finish, but it's got a slight, it's not a retro matte, we'll say. It's like a matte finish, and it puts you in the mindset of the NYX soft matte lip cream, but uh, this stuff doesn't budge. It is staying. It's in for the long haul. <laughs> you know I gotta do the tissue test. That's how you know it's real. So those are all of my faves, but I wanted to take it a step further and show you guys some of my little tricks that I like to do with my lips in the fall. Right now I'm using a MAC lip liner in Cherry, and I'm just going to simply fill in the insides of my lips. Yes, I know it's a lip liner, but just follow me. Next, I'm using the MAC Smoked Purple Lipstick, yes, as a lip liner, and I'm going to basically line the outsides of my lip. The reason why I use a lipstick as a lip liner is because it's so much easier to blend. It's not as blunt and harsh as a lip liner. So, you know, it gives a very soft ombre type effect. Is that not gorgeous? It's like the perfect pop of red in the middle. Perfect for New Year's or Christmas party or just because. All right, here's another one of my takes. This is the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Natural. 
You're basically going to go ahead and apply it like you would normally apply any lip gloss. Uh, duh. Once you get it all on, you're going to simply take your fingers and soften the edges of it. I have naturally dark like lining around my lips, so if you don't, you can always use like a brown lip liner. Once it's all smooth in, I'm going to take my NYX in Copenhagen and just blot it right in the middle. You guys, seriously, this is one of the most beautiful effects. It's almost like when you were a kid and drinking just grape Kool-Aid or something. Yeah. Well, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, see you guys next time. Bye. Come here, sit, man.